Hi. So I'm out here today in the garden doing my garden chores after the garden tour if you just watched that video. Um, if you're not you're interested, I just posted it. <laughs> um, excuse me, sir. Now I lost my train of thought. What's that in your eye? What's that? That's a tick. Okay, got it. Anyway, so I got the seeds out here to fill in the spots uh, that I showed in my garden tour video that were missing. And then I brought some transplants out here. So let me show you what I got. I was looking for a four and a half inch tomato plant and all they have left is the massive $20 ones. And I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna pay that kind of money for a tomato plant. <laughs> I mean, I usually grow them from seeds, but you know, this year was a bust for the most part. So it is what it is. Um, so I got Ichabon type Japanese eggplant. I've never grown eggplants. I've only eaten Black Beauty eggplants from the grocery store, but they had these, some white ones and some Black Beauties. And so I chose these and they look like they're longer and, and more cylinder type of an eggplant. It says full sun, six plus hours, spacing 24 to 36 inches apart, container depth, uh, maturity 50 to 60 days. So. I got and so I'm gonna plant this in my Florida weave row. Yep. There's two plants in there too, so maybe I could stick one in the pool garden too. Why not? Why not? Um, the other transplants I bought, and it was between this one and Ancho Chili Pepper, which I tried to grow those from seeds this year too. Did I really pick up another Serrano? I sure did. That's disappointing. I was, I thought I picked up a Marconi. I think I looked at the flat label and not the tag. Ugh. I'm just going to put it in the ground. And there's a couple plants in here too. So if I haven't, you know, I can, like I said, why well, I did the eggplant. Yeah. Irritated about my ratio of hot to <laughs> sweet or bell peppers. Yes. A little irritated about that, but all is good. I'm growing food. I'm growing food. I'm growing food. It'll be all right. Um, and then I have some really need to be planted Beauregard sweet potatoes uh, slips because yeah, mine, I don't know. So I bought more. And then I got the ones going from the grocery store in there. And I'm thinking just because it's already the beginning of June, I'm probably going to go ahead and cut them and get them started getting them rooted in water, either today or tomorrow. Or at least a couple of the vines. I just need to get stuff in the ground, you know? It's becoming crunch time on some of these crops, like sweet potatoes that take longer. I've never grown those before either. I've never grown potatoes before either, and I'm growing those this year. And corn, I've never grown that either. And I'm trying to grow it. <laughs> I'm trying to grow it. Well, no, I lied. I planted some at my, when I had a garden at my grandma's house a few years back. I did that. I did do that. These are the cow pea seeds I was talking about, the local variety. Aren't they pretty? I haven't tried to eat them yet. And they do vine. They're not a bush type, and I didn't know that till after I sowed the seeds. So they're either going to sprawl all over, or I'll trellis them. I haven't decided what to do about that yet. I probably really ought to trellis them. I might take some of those, I know it's going to be really short, but it's better than nothing, some of those bamboo stakes and just get some simple net, net trellis and put that up. I mean, it's a trellis. <laughs> um, the uh, bush beans that I do have that I forgot the names of the variety of, tongues of fire bean. And I do have dragon tongue bush beans somewhere and some of the uh, contenders. I really like the contender bush beans. They're somewhere, they're hiding on me though, so I gotta find them. So hopefully for the next go around. But these dragon tongues, uh, I think I have a couple dragon tongue bush beans up already. I'm planning on using one of the plants for a seed plant because I am running low on the seeds. And here's the other one that I forgot what it was. Early serve. It's supposed to be stringless too. It's a 53 day variety. 
this one's 70 days, so I guess it is early. Who knew? All right. I still forgot that elastic. I'm going to go grab some elastic and um, scissors, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my peppers, and I'm looking at my bean rows that I need to fill spaces in and thinking maybe I should slip a couple plants in. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably end up doing that just because <clears throat> then I won't have to come up with a where in my garden am I going to put this? Am I going to put it in with the herbs? Which That's where I'd probably put it there too. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Now that I'm really thinking about it, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll just go with it. So, let me see if I can angle my tripod down. So I got the hole, and it's kind of tricky to um, dig in this, this small of a hole. It's only um, a little complaint. I've got about using landscape fabric and using this method uh, but the benefits outweigh that so he's not really that complaining that bad we come to find out yeah this is just one plant okay that's cool that makes me feel better I don't have to face that decision on where to put it Dig a hole about shovel deep. See how nice and deep that is? That's good. I'm going to take some of my Espoma Garden Tone. And I just fertilized this garden at the end of May, so it's good to go till the end of June. I do not fertilize my legumes at all. If you do, you shouldn't. They make their own nitrogen and you're not. It's not good for the plants, like you're giving too much of fertilizer. They don't want it. So, let's shove her in there. I mean, I could have made this hole a little wider, I suppose, but yeah, we're going to make that a little wider. I'm not quite comfortable with that. <laughs> And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and tie her up. So I'm going to cut this elastic probably into three pieces. I'm just going to come up a little, well, go a little bit lower. That way I can get both those branches in there. I can move up a little higher, I suppose. There we go. And why I'm choosing to use elastic versus like yarn or something, because elastic is pretty stinking durable and it'll also flex with the plant as it grows. It won't constrict it. So, nice and loosely tied to the pole. So when it grows taller, I'll probably come out here again and tie her up some more and that's how that's going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and transplant the rest of this stuff out and Hey, thanks for stopping by and doing a little bit of garden chores with me. I love you, and so does Jesus. God bless everybody.